And uh, I mean, overall, very simple and plug and play. So I really like so far this light. Hello guys, Sam here from Grow Buds, and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Spider Farmer SF7000 LED Grow Light. So Spider Farmer has been quite a reputable company so far. You guys probably know them with the Spider Farmer SF4000, which was the previous generation from this light. If you guys are interested in learning more about the company and the light, um, the Spider Farmer SF4000, I've made a review of this light. So we'll include the link here in the video so you guys can check that out. So the Spider Farmer SF7000 is a bigger, more powerful model than the Spider Farmer SF4000. And they've also added a couple really interesting features. So I've received a lot of good reviews about this light and I can't wait to check it out. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we have inside of this box. All right, so the first thing we can notice here is how small this box is for the actual size of the light. If you compare it with previous models, such as the Spider Farmer SF4000, you have a 450 watt LED that fits into a quite large rectangular box. Now with this model, we actually have a smaller box, but a bit heavier. And that is because the Spider Farmer SF7000 is a foldable LED panel. So here you guys can see uh, how it's packaged. Everything looks pretty good. We have protectors to make sure it's not damaged during the shipping. So let's just go ahead and remove this. So the first thing we have is this board. So it's the panel and the fixture itself. We also have this template with all the information you need. We also have some nice light hangers as well as an RJ wire if you want to purchase multiple units and daisy chain them, control them from a single controller. You can do that using this wire here. Otherwise you have these rope ratchets which are really useful for hanging lights. Here we have the driver okay. and the board here. Okay, so this is what we have included in our box. Very straightforward. I quite like that. So we have the driver here. The controlling module is already installed here. So that's great. You have the foldable panel. And uh, I mean, overall, very simple and plug and play. So. I really like so far this light. Now that's it for the unboxing itself. Now let's assemble this light and take a deeper look into the specs of the lights and all the new features that they've included. The first thing we can notice here is that they are using the Inventronics driver instead of the Meanwell driver that they used to have in previous models. I really like the fact that the driver and the controlling module are already assembled. It really makes this light a great plug and play product. The driver is well made, with fins on each side to dissipate heat. The module has two RJ ports for remote controlling and daisy chain options. They've also included a switch on the back to turn off the manual dimmer. A simple on and off switch and a rotating device for manual dimming. Now let's unfold the panel. Spider Farmer has definitely improved the panel from their previous models. It is significantly thicker and should dissipate heat even better. Now for the diodes, they went with SEAL instead of the Samsung LM301B on this model. Here we have the warm white 3000 Kelvin, the blue light 5000 Kelvin, and the red light 665 nanometers. Together, they provide a full spectrum suitable for both veg and flowering. They also included four UV diodes, one on each board. I don't think this will make much of a difference, but it's still nice to have. As usual, they've placed each board in a strategic way to help optimize the light coverage. Now, let's mount the driver. We have some very convenient thumb screws to attach the driver on the panel. There's also plenty of cord length if you prefer to place the driver outside of your tent. Now, let's plug everything and turn it on. The Spider Farmer SF7000 is a 650 watt LED grow light and it retails for around $800. They claim you can flower up to a 6 feet by 6 feet area, although I would suggest you use it in a 5x5 or even a 4x4 for optimal results. In terms of efficiency, 
Spider Farmil claims a 2.9 micromole per joule for this fixture, which is quite impressive considering that this layout is usually less efficient than bar LEDs. In conclusion, I would say that Spider Farmer has done a good job at upgrading their components to offer an up-to-date fixture. It is certainly one of the most interesting grow light in its category, and it gives you quite a lot for your money. We will be testing this light in the near future to see if those numbers are accurate, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or products that you want us to test, don't forget to mention those in the comments. As usual, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, and we'll see you next time. Peace.